They have a distinctive corrugated look and a distinctive garlic smell. If you cross a leaf, hold it up to your nose. It's a whole slew of them under this eastern red cedar here. No. Long Island soils are typically acidic and these these plants just seem to love this soil. Right, so let's use Green Dean's itemization to talk about garlic mustard. Identification, it's a biennial. In its first year of growth, plants form kidney-shaped to heart-shaped leaves, also called reniform to chordate leaves. In its second year, the leaves grow up a stalk. Uh, the top of the stalk will have flowers on it. The leaf stalks of each leaf are concave on one side. On this concave side, there will be growing um, hairs on it. Um, on this concave cave side of the leaf stalk it'll be purplish green along the edge or the margin of the leaf there are uh, rounded teeth if you crush the leaf in your hand you should smell garlic the leaves can be more um, pointed than um, regular heart-shaped leaves but it will have a sinus or a gap at the back of the leaf the top side of the leaf uh, becomes a darker green as it gets older and the bottom side will be lighter. Uh, there are many small uh, veins uh, on the leaf itself giving it a marble look, uh, also called reticulate. Uh, to the untrained eye it can be confused for uh, violet or uh, ground ivy, but the smell of garlic is a clear identifying feature. So let's talk about time of year. Spring or after the frost time is over in your area, uh, they will mature really quickly and they'll be ready for picking as soon as it starts to warm up. What I mean by warm up, I don't mean for normal garden variety plants before uh, spring vegetables are even being planted in the ground. This is an early spring vegetable. These will be ready to start picking in around late March, early April, and before that, if it's even warmer. Environment. It grows in moist, shaded areas. You can find them growing in forests. You can find them in transitional areas where the forests and fields meet. Shady is what's important. Method of preparation. So the young leaves can be eaten raw. The leaves and stalks can be boiled later in the season. The great thing about garlic mustard is that if you have any culinary talents you can do a lot with these things it's a great plant